Hello everyone and welcome to Gray Fox Strategic. My name is Sean and today we're talking about one of our newest offerings, the Modular Holster Adapter by True North Concepts. Today, we're going to show you how the MHA works specifically with our holsters. Of course, we will have links to everything you see here in the description below. This adapter was designed by True North Concepts primarily around the Safari Land 3 hole pattern, as seen on the QLS fork here. The MHA is a mid ride attachment, but you do have a little flexibility as far as the height of your holster. Not much, but it's worth mentioning. You also have a couple of options for mounting the MHA to your belt, such as the included belt bars, which work great on Molly compatible belts, or you could also attach the unit to a tech lock from Blade Tech. This allows you to easily swap the whole unit to any belt that you have in your closet. Now let's talk about compatibility. While attaching a holster directly to the plate is possible, we highly recommend pairing the modular holster adapter with a Safari Land QLS quick detach system, especially if you are using one of our holsters with our level two retention option. Unfortunately, our level two holsters are not compatible with the MHA if you wish to attach it directly to the plate. As you can see here, even with our largest hardware options, there is not enough space to comfortably actuate the retention hood. Good luck getting your thumb in there when you need to draw your sidearm. So today we're going to show you how to set up your Gray Fox strategic holster with a Safari Land QLS quick detach system onto the True North Concepts MHA. As a bonus, we'll also show you how to install Anchor, our new leg strap retainer, which was recently redesigned to work better with the MHA by matching the mounting pattern. So looking on the table here, we have all the pieces to build this setup. All of these parts include the necessary hardware for assembly and all of the products seen here are linked in the description. Check our website if you need anything else. The only items you will need to supply yourself are a Phillips head screwdriver and your mitts. Our holster will come with slotted posts and rubber spacers pre-installed and ready to go. The QLS kit, this is kit number one, will include one fork and one receiver. It will also include a baggie of hardware containing screws, posts, and an Allen wrench. The MHA will include three separate bags of hardware color-coded to their instruction manual, a set of belt attachment bars, and a tube of thread locker. The thread locker is crucial. Don't lose this. We won't use it right away. We want to set up our holster and make sure we like it first. Then we'll back out all the screws, apply the thread locker, and reassemble. If you don't apply the thread locker, you might run into a little magic trick known as the disappearing holster. To start, we're going to attach the QLS receiver to the MHA plate. Remove the fork and set it aside for later. We're going to grab the blue bag from the MHA kit and liberate the three squishy rubber washers. Everything else can go back in the bag and put away somewhere safe. Next, we're going to open up the QLS baggie and we are going to find the three longest serrated screws, the three longest flathead screws, and the three largest anchors. We're also gonna set aside the Allen wrench, and that's all we're gonna need from this bag. To prep the QLS receiver, we're gonna grab the three anchors that we removed from the hardware bag and pop them into the corresponding mounting holes. These anchors are keyed, so they will stay in their place and not spin while you're trying to work with them. Now here's a free tech tip from someone who assembles holsters for eight hours a day, five days a week. Take the QLS fork and insert it into the receiver for a little added security for those anchored posts. Now they're not going anywhere. Now grab those three squishy rubber washers and press them firmly over the anchored posts that are protruding out the back of the receiver. They might not stay put, just make sure you keep an eye on them in case they fall off. You don't wanna lose them. And this is a great time to add our leg strap. The anchor is a simple piece of folded Taker's thermoplastic that sits between your holster and belt attachment. No extra hardware needed, nothing to lose. Insert the leg strap with the female buckle facing forward as if it were on your hip. Line up the holes with the QLS receiver, place the MHA over top, and insert the screws. Then grab that Allen wrench and go to work. It's almost as easy as Ikea. Almost. Well, I mean, at least you get a free Allen wrench, so. And there we go, this part's done. So now we're gonna remove the QLS fork because that is the next step. Now we put the fork onto the holster. This is our Phoenix holster for lighted handguns. 
It's fitted for a Walther PDP with a Surefire X300 and has our optional level two retention. For level two, we use genuine Safari Land SLS units because let's be honest, you can't beat them. For this, we'll use those three serrated screws that we grabbed earlier and the Allen wrench. And that's, well, that's it. Flip over to the holster's undercarriage and you'll see the pre-installed slotted posts and rubber spacers. Grab the QLS fork and with the Safari Land branding facing away from the holster, line up the mounting holes and guess what? More screws. You can also angle the fork at this stage for a little forward cant or rearward for the weirdos. And if you didn't already get enough practice, grab that Allen wrench, baby. And there you go. That step is all done. Now let's put it on your belt. If using the belt bars, grab the red hardware bag, crack it open and dump the contents without losing everything like I did the first time. <clears throat> grab a screw, push it through the mounting point in the top corner, slide a rubber washer onto the screw, place the threaded post into the belt bar and attach everything together. Then repeat for the other side. Now you're all set to slide the bars into the molly webbing on a battle belt or over a belt entirely. Then use the remaining hardware for the bottom mounting points and tighten as necessary. If using a tech lock, we're going to rip open the green hardware bag. There are three screws, three rubber washers, and three posts. That's all we need. Open up the tech lock and push the posts through the inside, making a triangle with the top corners and the middle of the bottom row, placing the rubber washer over the post on the back of the attachment. Yes, that's right. We're utilizing that free tech tip from earlier. You're welcome. Once that's done, take the tech lock, line it up with the holes on the back of the MHA, and you guessed it, more screws. Tighten as necessary, and if you know that this is the attachment method that you want to use, go ahead and put some thread locker on the threads right now. Now that our tech lock is on, attaching this unit to your belt is going to be super quick and easy. If you have multiple belts and want to swap from belt to belt, this is the most convenient attachment for you. Be sure to use the spacers inside the tech lock and fit them to your belt to prevent any slop while drying your sidearm. And finally, now that we have both halves put together, it's time to combine the two. The QLS system clicks together like a giant fast text buckle, making it really easy to swap your holsters out based on your objective, your competition stage, or just whatever handgun you decide to shoot that day. Also, from experience, it's a really great way for you and your coworkers to trade holsters so that everyone can try out that new custom trigger you just installed on your clock. And this is your friendly reminder to use that thread locker that was included with the modular holster adapter. Get the holster set up, try it out, make sure it feels right, cant the holster forward or backward, whatever is a more comfortable draw for you, then go back through removing one screw at a time, applying some thread locker, and replacing the screw to its final position. Although I wouldn't worry about the SLS hardware, we apply thread locker when installing, and boom, your holster is now ready for the range or dry fire. You should probably dry fire first. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you for tuning in to the first how-to video on our channel. If you found it helpful, please drop us a like. If there are any other videos you'd like to see regarding our products, please drop your ideas in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video from us. Stay safe and be excellent to each other.